All right, cool, thanks. Appreciate it. So I'm gonna be talking briefly today about Garbal, uh, which is a call center in West Africa that provides farmers and livestock herders with information on pasture, water, and weather, and which is in many ways built a lot on map server. This is gonna be a lot more about a use case than uh, the technical side, but uh, afterwards I'm happy to talk if you have questions about the tech behind it. So, a brief problem statement. Why does this system exist? Um, you'll be unsurprised to know that in the Sahel, just like everywhere else, farmers and herders need access to weather forecasts. They need to understand pasture availability. They need to know where surface water is. This should be, this is a given pretty much anywhere in the world. Um, but unfortunately, in the Sahel, and specifically in the three countries we're talking about here, Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, this data is incredibly hard to find. Weather station coverage is poor, so most of the forecasts that are available publicly cover major towns, and internet and smartphone access remains quite low for most of these rural areas. So then the proposed solution is, well, what if there was a hotline that could be called that could give this information in an easy to understand and digestible format? And this is where Garbal comes into play. So the project was launched in 2015 uh, with a consortium from SNV, a Dutch NGO, a Dutch geospatial company called Hofslot Spatial Solutions, the governments of uh, all the three countries, and Orange, the telecom provider, as well as some local cooperatives. And the idea was that basically you have this system that collects remote sensing information through Copernicus portals, NDVI, biomass, surface water, weather forecasts, and then rainfall, and then puts it into a dashboard. However, unlike most of the dashboards we are familiar with, the user of the dashboard is not the end user. There's a layer of abstraction between the end user and the dashboard, and that's a call center agent. So the actual user, the decision maker of this information is calling in, and the call center agent is providing a readout in the local language from that dashboard. Um, in Burkina Faso in 2021 to 22, we received over one million calls. So this is a system that is being actively used and is an active part of the information chain for a lot of people. So there are uh, currently three dashboards, one for each country. They're all publicly accessible. I'll provide the links at the end. But if you want to explore the data, you can. This is the one for Burkina Faso, modem.org. And then you see on the right, you see the, the map server side where we have a Sentinel-2 layers being served up to show NDVI. And on the right, we have a dialog box, which is not only providing the layers, but is also providing a textual readout of the information. What's the weather forecast for the next seven days? Will it rain? How close is the nearest surface water? How's the situation of biomass? So this is providing the information to pastoralists and to farmers, but done so in a textual way. So this really eases the burden on the call center agent who can, if they want to, read a table or read a script rather than having to go and analyze a map. So a very, very, very broad overview of what the tools look like is we get basically three sources. Remote sensing data, which is mostly from Copernicus. Open weather map, uh, which, we get from an a which we get through their API. And then field data, which provides information on prices, uh, the concentration of animals. And all of that is pushed together through a machine, served onto map server as visual layers, then provided through open layers, and then brought to the call center. So I don't think I have enough time to go through these limitations and lessons learned, but we can talk about them afterwards if you're curious. Basically, the main one is listen to your users. Um, yeah, that would be the one that I would say the most. <laughs> now, uh, I'd also like to just spend the last couple seconds providing the two links to the active interfaces here at the bottom. We are also working on documentation. We're going to have uh, manuals written in English and French very soon for basically how the whole thing works and how it functions. You can also contact me if you have any questions, but please check out the interface. I would love to hear your feedback. If you have any ideas on things we can improve or change, they would certainly be welcome. Thank you.